Look at that. Wow. Unbelievable. Look at this. The sky. It's a flock. A flock of ospreys. In 40 years of birding, I've never seen this many ospreys this close together anywhere in the world. Wow. A mist. This is a brilliant place to get your head into that of a hungry osprey. They're clearly circling around the lake, looking through the surface for fish. They identify an area, and then they seem to focus on it. This one's going in, it's going in, it's going in, it's got... It's got one. And it's got an antennae on its back, which means it's one of the study birds from Lock Garden. And that bird was carrying the fish in the classic osprey manner. Immediately after catching it, it swings it around so the fish is head first into the direction the bird's flying, keeping it streamlined. I mean, it's tough enough work carrying a heavy fish anyway, but you don't want it flapping around underneath you. And to help them with this, one of their toes is opposable, so they can turn it round. So there are two toes on one side of the fish and two on the other. One thing you see is that when they lift themselves out, they have a jolly good shake to get that water off of their plumage. One thing that's immediately apparent here is how energetically expensive the process of catching fish is for these birds. They're using up lots of reserves, maybe about one in four, they're going out with a fish. But the reason that this particular lock is so popular with ospreys is that this is a fish farm. It's heaving with prey. 